Hey, my name is Julie St. James, and this is my audition for Ella. Thanks, hon. More than my pleasure, ma'am. There was a great obit today, Mr. Turner. Is there such a thing? This guy was diagnosed with stage four cancer when he was about 50. Doc tells him he's got less than four months to live, but instead he died a few hours after his 100th birthday. I mean, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be reading obituaries? They're great sources for my story ideas. I don't bother with them. Too busy worrying about the living to care about the dying. I mean, I guess I understand why older people might avoid them. At my age, though, I probably won't find anyone I know listed on there on a regular basis. Good morning, Mr. Turner. Morning. Did you hear about Roberta? Who's that? The woman that owned the flower shop across the street. What about her? Well, I know you guys weren't exactly friends. And what do you mean owned? I guess she was the one hit by that car the other night. You know, the one in the news where that jerk just sped off and they said the victim died in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. It was in the obits today. Said she was predecessed by her husband and eight-year-old son. Are you okay, Mr. Turner? Angelo starts today. Show him the ropes, will you, Ella? I have to close the month this morning. Sure. But scary, huh? I mean, one day you're here with all that life has to offer, and then the next day, bam, the plant food. At least she's with her family again, though, right? In case you want to read it. Mr. Turner, I've always wondered, how did your wife pass away? You mind closing the door? I really need to wrap this up. Wonder what'll happen to the flower shop now.